There are tons of weird things around the world. Whether it's made in nature or man-made, the odds of finding something described as such are high. That just goes to show to all the naysayers that everything cool and original have already been discovered. People are constantly inventing new things, demonstrating new abilities, and even discovering weird things all the time. I hold the Guinness World Record for the most cans stuck to a human head. Hold on, wait, can I say that? Because I don't right now. It just takes a little perspective. From snakes with legs to downright creepy sea creatures, here are 15 of the weirdest things you'll see today. Catfish invasion. The catfish are invading. Okay, not really, but there sure are a heck of a lot of them and they sure are swimming all over one another. Just by taking a look at the number of catfish here at the edge of this artificial lake, you may be inclined to believe an invasion is underway. But in reality, this is a perfect development. With each nudging forward and climbing on top of one another, the fishermen that are raising their catfish are elated at the sight. The question here is why are they behaving in such a manner? Are they about to be fed? Are they trying to get the heck out of town? You can only find this number of catfish in India because they thus far have the only lakes populated with such large numbers. This of course is by design. These catfish are the same species you can find around the world. They aren't anything special. What is special, however, is that these catfish reside in man-made lakes. They were created to mass produce the catfish for a country that's struggling with food supply. These farms have curbed the food shortage, at least for now. These ginormous lakes can be found in the Thar Desert and act as incubators to spawn the creatures in insane numbers. Don't blame humans too harshly and go off on a wild tangent of wild versus farmed. Right now, the entire world is suffering anything from fresh water to food shortages, and these fish farms are a direct result of that and shows what's possible when the supply is stressed. Without their formation, a massive source of food for India would be harshly reduced. Human ingenuity will do whatever it must to ensure the survival of its kind. And this is one of many examples of that genius being utilized for the greater good. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? Snake legs. According to scientists, snakes once had legs. Of course, this was over 150 million years ago. But you still have to wonder what that might have looked like. Recently, a YouTuber posted a video demonstrating just how that might have looked. This wasn't some CGI experiment, but a real-life robotic assembly that effectively gave the snake back its legs. Of course, this is a little bizarre, but at least you can see what they might have looked like while using legs. If this notion terrifies you, you certainly aren't alone. When asked why he was inspired to create such a machine, he simply replied with why not. Can't argue with that logic. It's crazy to see such a long species that hasn't had legs for millions of years. Finally get back in the saddle and try them out. The snake really seems to enjoy the ride anyway. Of course, the machine isn't being controlled by the snake. It's remote controlled, but that doesn't take away from how weird it looks. They look like giant skinny lizards, which is probably what they looked like all that time ago. The snake doesn't seem to mind either. A higher point of view is sure to get and keep its attention. As seen in the footage, the serpent is really trying to figure out this whole experiment and why it can move without slithering on the ground. Perhaps evolution will someday put legs back on these creatures. But for now, this is what we got and it amazes. This begs the question, why did evolution see fit to remove them in the first place? Perhaps they were hunted far more often and killed by predators. It sure would make hiding more difficult compared to the serpents of today. <laughs> Blue Mint Chicken Is that toothpaste? In some countries, besides the US, they change up the sauce packets that come with their food. For example, KFC started distributing mint choco dipping sauce to go along with their chicken and the people apparently loved it. It looks like toothpaste and is described to taste about the same. Why anyone would want mint chocolate on their chicken is as good a guess as any. Even the look of it on the chicken seems unappetizing. You have to consider the many differences of cuisine to truly understand why this is popular. This particular sauce can be found in South Korea and is supposed to satiate what KFC calls milkshake dippers. Some people dip their savory foods, like chicken, into sweeter sauces, like milkshakes, to add another layer of flavor. With that in mind, the mint choco dipping sauce was born. Why they went with mint, on the other hand, is a different mystery. Most people can understand the sweet and savory juxtaposition in cooking, 
but mint is just throwing the whole thing out of whack, how about just chocolate or just vanilla or strawberry, something that doesn't severely distract from other flavors? One thing's for sure, if you went ahead and ordered a meal here with that sauce, you wouldn't have to worry about your breath stinking afterward. The sauce was actually part of a collaboration between KFC and the food delivery service, but Dell mean junk. If anything, the packets have certainly been a huge hit on social media, giving KFC plenty of free marketing. <laughs> the Peanut Pusher What once started as a bar bet in 1929 has become a somewhat phenomenon in Pikes Peak, Colorado. The goal? To push a peanut with your nose, with a spoon taped to your nose, up a 13-mile hike that is Pikes Peak. You heard that right, 13 miles. It was accomplished back in 1929, and the newest attempt was for the record. Imagine climbing stairs, rocks, and mud, all the while pushing a peanut with your nose, and without the ability to stand up and move it in any other way. The looks of pedestrians hiking this path as the peanut pusher passes is priceless. What would you think if you saw someone like this strolling past you with no regard to how crazy they looked? This time, the spectacle was at the behest of the government in an attempt to raise money for a charity. Some people just like the weird and the strange, and the person that got to push this peanut is all of the above. He smashes the record, and it only took him a week to accomplish it. He smashes the record and it only took him a week to accomplish it. That means he had to hike the 13-mile landscape every day, find his peanut, strap on his nose gear, and continue where he left off the day before. Despite it taking a week, it was still a whole day faster than the previous attempt. The 90-ish year tradition had been rekindled in locals' hearts and inspired many more to possibly attempt it for themselves. <laughs> Traffic Slider What do you get when you have been breakdancing for 15 years? Someone who wants to take their skills to the next level. And boy, does this person accomplish that goal. Kyer Mendez may have more than a million hours of breakdancing practice under his belt, but this feat is purely a new spectacle. By strapping on a helmet and slightly greasing the top of it, this amazing dancer manages to spin on his head and slide across an entire intersection. That takes incredible balance, dedication, and skill to pull it off. As you can see, he does it with finesse. He hopes to represent Venezuela at the 2024 Olympics. If he keeps pulling off stunts like this, he'll surely get that part. As you might imagine, this stopped all traffic, and not just because it was a pedestrian in the road. The spectacle had cars and passerby stopping in their tracks to witness the display themselves. After all, it's pretty hard to believe. While he makes it look easy, you have to be in top physical condition to pull off a stunt like this. Don't believe it? Strap on a helmet and see for yourself. Of course, you might need to practice breakdancing for a few thousand hours first. The dancer says even the easiest trick requires good physical condition. For this reason, the breakdance hopes to share with the world the sport and how physically demanding it really is. <laughs> All aboard the soccer train. In Slovakia, one of the oldest professional soccer stadiums exists, and it comes with an exciting, even a bit odd feature, a railroad running along the edge. You could be enjoying a stunning soccer game when a locomotive comes rolling through, both obstructing the sights and sounds of the game. It was constructed in the 20th century and has been marked as a heritage site, thus keeping the railroad intact for hundreds of years. Even the pedestrians have grown accustomed to the interference and has become a trademark of the stadium and the team. It sure has cooked up quite a storm on social media, with many players and soccer enthusiasts aghast at the display. Just watch out for the children here, folks. You wouldn't want them running around enjoying the game when one of the steam engines comes chugging through. Just imagine a slide tackle during a tense game going wrong here. Despite the danger, there's never been a mishap during a game or practice. Fans even cheer when the locomotive comes strolling through. Sierni Balog, where the stadium and railroad can be found, is one of the largest municipalities in the area and played a leading role in defeating the Nazis during World War II by organizing an anti-Nazi uprising. There's much history here. Canhead If there's a record to be had, you better believe there's someone out there willing to set or break it, no matter how bizarre the stunt might seem. For example, this guy once held the record for most cans stuck to the human head without adhesive. The goal is to create the perfect suction for the curvature of the bottom of a can. With barely any flexing in the can, this is one hard stunt. 
go grab a can and try it out for yourself. Since the can has very little flex to create suction, the flex must come from a person's skin. Therefore, the record holder might have unique skin for which to accomplish this goal. Because of this, he's been called a mutant or X-Man and can stick cans to his body. To determine just how he does it, specialists have suggested that the talent comes from the man's higher than average body temperature, which sits at around 100 degrees Fahrenheit, which forces his skin pores to act like little suction cups. It isn't just cans either. He can do it with bottles as well. Only one man has beaten his original record and he can be found in Japan. He's also a bartender and can pour drinks from the bottles and cans that are stuck to his head. This is one wild, incredible display. Not to mention the severe differences in all human bodies. Despite there being a one-fix-all mentality in most humans, this is just the latest example that shows how unique each and one of us really are. <laughs> Zombie Spider Bots If reanimating the dead is up your alley, you've got to see these necrobots. Yeah, necrobots. Scientists refer to this technology as such because they're using dead spiders to obtain their goal. Because spiders use a hydraulic system to control their bodies, which stems from the large torso in the middle of all those legs, scientists have been able to reanimate the spider, giving life to what was once dead. Of course, these spiders are still dead, they're just able to be controlled. The spider hydraulic system is on full display as they crawl and move around, and even when they die, it's why they curl up when perished. That being said, by introducing hydraulic pressure into the torso of the spider, experts can essentially reopen the legs and close them at will. They can even still cling on to objects with incredible power. Don't freak out too much. Many advances in technology have been because of study of dead animals and humans. This is just the latest and most bizarre yet, at least that we know of. Frankenstein's monster could be out there walking around, but it's unlikely. Just watch out for the bolts through the neck. Scientists expect this technology to evolve into what they call micro-manipulation, such as microelectronics and more. These delicate little claws, so to speak, may just prove to be the next step in robotics. <laughs> Alpine Sports The two people that invented the sport have something to say to all the flat footballers out there. Anyone can play on a flat field, but a master of the sport can play on the Alpine. Even the greatest soccer players of all time likely won't stand a chance against these players, unless of course they practice for a few months. Then their greatness might just hit a new high. Imagine driving up a mountain and climbing a mountain. Now imagine playing soccer on a steep incline on said mountain. That's exactly what is aptly named Steep Alpine Soccer. Well, if it isn't the most creative of names, it gets to the point without any question what the heck the sport entails. With the ball constantly rolling down the hill and corner to corner, the goals are at a different length. This sport has much more nuanced traits than the traditional game. We're talking some dangerous yet exciting stuff. You've got to see it play to believe it. And thanks to Vans and Mercedes-Benz, now we do. A group of football fans in the Austrian Alps claim that it's the ultimate way to play the sport. Many are hard-pressed to disagree. The idea was generated during the 2014 World Cup when soccer fans started to get bored of their favorite game. Thus, this extreme sport was born and it's drawing the attention of the world. Hair Whip What do you do when you have extremely long hair? For this person, you braid it and transform it into a whip. Just imagine getting hit with this thing. Hailing from India, she currently holds the world record for most candles extinguished with a pigtail, plaited ponytail, coming in at an incredible one minute. She was only 26 at the time and is attempting to break her own record very soon. The star, also known as Rimpy, basically has a weapon attached to her head. Imagine someone trying to mug her and she goes all whippity on them. It would really hurt. If you've never been struck with a whip, it isn't fun and can leave more than a mark on most. She's proven she really knows how to swing that thing and has the world record to prove it. There's nothing easy about blowing out candles with hair, let alone a ponytail that must be slung up and over her head at just the right distance and velocity. She sometimes knocks a candle out or two, but still manages to set a record. Thus far, no one has come even close to her accomplishment. Before you start growing your hair out, know that it's an incredibly difficult stunt even though she makes everything look easy. Hmm. Bottle Ballerina When a ballerina is so good at what she does, she might become bored with just standing on her toes and twirling around. In this weird example, the ballerina exemplifies her skill by walking, 
with her toes on bottles. What's harder still? She does it while ascending a star-like contraption with a bottle on each step for her to step on. Most people wouldn't even be able to do this without the bottles, but she takes it a step further, further solidifying her rightful place in the world record books. When she finally reaches the top, she walks along a level table where more bottles have been placed. It was already a challenge, and this woman really leveled it up. She must have incredibly powerful toes and balance to accomplish such a feat. How all the people around her aren't dumbstruck is beyond comprehension. What else could she accomplish with such skill? The half wheel bike. You might be thinking, how is a half wheel a bike or even going to move? But this just goes to show that the crazy stunt is real. It is just as it sounds, a bike with not one, but two half wheels. The front wheel is a full circle, but the back two are halved. The key here is that the back two wheels are actually engineered to meet just as the other is leaving the ground. When one wheel is on the asphalt, another is in the air. It makes sense, but it's far trickier to invent than it is to ride. The inventor said riding it is just like riding a normal bike. You barely feel the difference. The trick is getting the wheels to be mathematically precise in their timing. And as you have it, you have the bizarre half-wheeled bike. His videos have been stunning the world, as they should be. This is one piece of engineering, not to mention enjoyable to observe. To accomplish this, the inventor had to drastically modify its bike. There is an entire video demonstrating how he pulled the whole thing off. What's more, the bike actually takes curbs and off-roading better than the traditional whole-wheel variation. <laughs> Night of the Walking Cows Imagine looking out your ring doorbell or house security cams to see a herd of cows just strolling on by, leisurely grazing your lawn. That's exactly what happened to this homeowner after a massive herd escaped their pen and invaded the nearby suburb. The residents said the cows completely devoured her plants and she just had them newly landscaped. The rest of the neighborhood suffered a similar fate, but no one else caught them in the act. As you can see, hundreds of cows made their way through the residential area, gnawing on plants as they went. Just imagine the poop that was scattered all over that place the next morning. Before looking at the security footage, the town had no idea what had caused the massive devastation to their once beautiful street. They eventually cleaned everything up, but it took weeks to accomplish and the combined effort of everyone that lived there. The Robot Schoolboy Some people claim that robots are taking over all the jobs. Apparently, that means going to school as well. In actuality, this tale is much more heartfelt. When a student fell severely ill during the school year, they missed all manner of important lessons. To rectify the problem, a robot was invented that would attend for them. Equipped with a camera, microphone, and speaker, the student can essentially attend school without even being there. They can see their friends, listen to the teacher, and even raise their hand and answer a question. The teacher, of course, must display her information in a manner that the student can observe. But it has been worked out great so far. The student managed to catch up on all their late work, as well as continue to attend every day. Sometimes the sickness gets too heavy, but other than that, he can still attend. The little avatar has made the boy feel like he was at school even when he wasn't, though he still wishes he could return to see all his friends and teachers in person again. Alien Sea Noodle This alien-looking noodle of a creature is known as the giant pyrosome. The bizarre-looking animals can grow massive, as you can see from the footage. This monster is a free-floating colonial tunicate made of thousands of identical clones. They all come together to form a hollow, cylindrical worm that can reach a whopping 60 feet long and wide enough for a human to swim through. Each clone is a tiny, complete animal that survives by filtering water non-stop to obtain food, flush out waste, and contribute to the propulsion of the entire superorganism. There are tons of weird things in the world. Many times, what makes them weird is that we don't really understand them, or we've barely been exposed to their existence. Seeing some of these things on the list as alien is completely normal. With so many things in the world that can both fascinate and terrify, you should feel right at home on the planet, no matter how bizarre it may seem. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Mm -hmm.